Hey all. So uh, this episode is basically going to be a port guide to the island of St. Martin. Uh, Cheryl and I are going on a cruise with some friends in uh, February, and Cheryl has never been to St. Martin. So we sat down the other day and, and put together uh, a bunch of information for ourselves and actually also for our friends um, about St. Martin and you know what to do and see and, and that kind of thing. So we figured we would share it with you all as well. Um, just in case you've never been there. So, St. Martin, how to get the most out of your visit. So, first up, one thing you need to know is, is St. Martin is one island shared by two countries, uh, the Netherlands and France. So, you've got the Dutch side and you've got the French side. Um, and there, there's no border in between, um, which I'm sure makes it kind of interesting to know which side you're on. But I'm sure if you're you know, from the island, you know which side is which. So, um, they each have their own currency, but the U.S. dollar is accepted pretty much everywhere. Um, so, one of the one of the more important things to us is to at least check out the the beaches. So, we figured we'd start with a, a list of the top six or seven beaches on the island. You want to start? Oh, sure. Uh, Great Bay Beach, which is on the Dutch side, and it's easily easily accept accessible <laughs> Sweet Lord, um, by water taxi. I understand it's only about a, um, I want to, I think it's like a 20 minute water taxi ride from the cruise terminal. Uh, Orient Bay beach, which is on the French side is arguably the most famous beach on the Island. And it's got those beautiful picturesque beaches that you see, uh, anytime you, you know, you see a picture of the Caribbean beaches. So now please note, there is a clothing optional section of the Orient Bay Beach. It's called Club Orient. There are signs letting you know that this is a clothing optional section. So um, they have little ones yeah. up here. Yeah, you know, just make sure you know if you're going to visit Orient Bay Beach, make sure you keep your eye out for those signs and keep the little ones away. Yes. Yeah. You know. Maho Beach, which is on the Dutch side, it's called the Airplane Beach. And Cheryl, do you know why it's called the Airplane Beach? Because it's right by the airport and you can literally look up when a plane is taking off and landing. So literally the way they created the airport is the planes come in over the water. And when they, um, they're, they're on their final approach as they pass over this beach, no more than a couple of hundred feet up above your head. So it's definitely uh, one of those um, novelty things. You know, I'm sure, you know, if you Google airplane beach you'll see a billion pictures of people standing there with planes literally right above their head um another one is mullet bay beach mm -hmm. it's tranquil and laid back it's um it's apparently it's a typical beach experience it is on the dutch side uh it seems to be that a lot of the beaches are on the dutch side mm -hmm. uh Cup Cupy boy beach um this is also on the Dutch side. Now, this one's a little bit different. It's got limestone cliffs. It's it's not a, oh, my understanding, it's not really, you know, like the, the typical beach, with, you know, the, the, the white sand or yellow sand beaches. And, you know, it, it's a little bit different, but definitely beautiful from what I understand. Yes. Um, Simpson Bay Beach. It is also on the Dutch mm -hmm. side. Beautiful water, white sand and turquoise waters. Clear turquoise, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the top, you know, half a dozen or so beaches. Next, we're going to kind of move into shopping, you know, kind of a couple of the main shopping areas. Um, first one is Front Street. Uh, Where is that? that? It's in the front. OK, gotcha. Um, it's in Phillipsburg. It's kind of the, the main shopping area in Phillipsburg. It's got a bunch of different stores, souvenir shops, jewelry, electronics, fashion, that kind of thing. Um, um, historic Old Street. Mm -hmm. A charming area with boutique shops and art galleries, and it's perfect for finding unique gifts mm -hmm. and from local crafters, um, which we tend to gravitate towards yes. ourselves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure when we're there, we're going to end up walking around Front Street and then going down to to, to uh, Old Street to to see more authentic. No, I don't want no authentic's not right, but more unique. You know, um, and then we'll head. And I'm sure on our way back, you know, there there's a cruise terminal with shops as as there pretty much always is. You got the typical, you know, jewelry, souvenir, local goods, alcohol. right outside. Yeah, right outside the the cruise terminal building. Again, so. be careful purchasing alcohol on the islands. They will not allow you to bring it back on the ship. 
Well, if, if you bring do, it back on the ship, they're going to take it from you and bring it to you in the last day of the exactly. ship. Exactly. Exactly. So you can go down and pick yep. it up. And really, yep. who wants to do that? Um, Unless it's something. Well, they, there is there is one particular type of liquor that St. Martin is known for, and a lot of people will bring that back, understanding that they're not going to be able to have it in their room, but they'll get it back at the end. We'll get into it? that. Okay. So excursions. Going to kind of give you an overview of a half a dozen or so types of excursions. Uh, not necessarily um, promoting a particular excursion vendor, just the types of uh, general types of excursions. Um, so first one is, you know, the island tour. Um, it's a, a guided tour uh, that explores both the Dutch and the French sides of the island, um, you know, hitting a half a dozen scenic viewpoints, historic landmarks. Uh, it's a popular excursion um, who, for people who, like, have never been to St. Martin and they kind of, this is the type of tour that Cheryl and I uh, like to do the first time uh, or the even the second time we're, we're in on an island. Kind of see the highlights, kind of get a feel for the island. Um, like, we'd love to snorkel, but if, like, Cheryl's never been to St. Martin, so we're not going to go snorkeling yeah. in St. Martin because she's never been there. We will next time we're in St. Martin. Yeah, you know. So we want to kind of get a, uh, uh, I see, kind of see the island. Now I know it's not going to be a super in depth because you're only there for a half day, but you know, hit a couple of popular beaches, see some of the famous landmarks. You know, um, next up, the Loteri Lottery Farm. I always say Lottery. Get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take this one no, since no, you, you know. Can do it. Um, so no, it's, no. it's a farm and, and nature sanctuary in Saint Martin. Um, their mission is to protect the the countryside land and the trees. Um, you can go there and you can, uh, there's a bunch of, of hiking trails. There's a pool there at the sanctuary. There's a zip line. They'll do tours of the farms. So it's kind of a one of those kind of must-see uh, areas of the island. Yeah. You want to go to, you want to talk about Marigo? Marigo. No, you can so Marigot is the capital city of the French side of the island. Um, so, you know, check out that you can go there, walk around. There's boutiques, there's art galleries, duty-free shops, of course. Um, there's a lot of different, it, it's a cool town to walk around in. It's got a lot of culture. It's got a lot of um, uniqueness. So uh, lots of fresh produce. Um, they, there's uh I don't think it was an actual spice market, but it was, there was an area with a lot of spices uh, available for sale, fresh spices. So, um, <sighs> Fort Louis. No. Fort Louis. Not Louis. There's no E at the end. It's Fort Louis. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Um, it's on a hill overlooking Marig. Marigot. Marigo. Marigo. <laughs> it's, it's a historical site dating back to the 18th century, and you can climb on top. Of, <laughs> you can climb on top of the fort um, for panoramic views, and it's a really good viewpoint to see Simpson Bay Lagoon and the rest of the coastline. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but yes. Mm-hmm. All right, Fort Amsterdam. That's easy for me to pronounce. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, it, it's a historical for, fortress on the Dutch side of St. Martin. Um, originally built in 1631. Not going to give you the whole thing, but um, it's well-preserved walls and artifacts offer fascinating insights. Hmm. And you can walk through its military buildings and cannons. You can see the cannons. You can't walk through the cannons. I was just you say, can see you the cannons. Yeah. yeah, that would be kind of tight. But yeah. Catamaran, catamaran sail and snorkel. Uh, this is an actually an excursion that uh, I did with my family uh, when we went there, went to St. Martin 30, 30-ish years ago. Um, the, the waters around St. Martin are absolutely crystal clear, gorgeous. So you hop on this catamaran, you sail out to one of the, the small uh, neighboring islands, uh, you snorkel for half the day, there's usually food included, there's usually rum included. And it's, it's a good way to spend uh, your half a day on board yeah. or on the island. Yes. Um, ooh, the Flying Ditch Dutchman Zip Line. Um, not for me, but anyway, located <laughs> at the popular Rainforest Adventures Park. Um, it's a zip line that will have you soaring a 2,800-foot-long cable descending from the top of St. Martin's 
highest point called Century Hill. Mm -hmm. Enough said. You had me at Zipline. Yeah, I had you saying no at Zipline. Instagram. Uh, guided ATV tours. Um, you can hop on your own ATV, or you, you know, some of them let you share it with another person. Um, you get a guided tour of both the Dutch and the French side. Um, bunch of different view, you know, popular spots on the island, giving you great views. Um, the pastel colored houses, the waters, the landscapes. It's it's a pretty cool way to see the island. As long as it doesn't rain the night before. <laughs> it's be messy. Um, Parrot Villa Bird Sanctuary. I would do this in a happy. Mm -hmm. It's the hidden gem that thrills visitors of all ages. The sanctuary houses a diverse array of colorful and exotic bird species from around the world. I think we should do that one. No. Guava berry rum and liquor tasting. Ooh. So if you want something a little bit different, um, head over to well head out on this that's tasting you're going to visit a um, distillery that makes rum and they make the guava berry liqueur um, it's it's a local locally produced liqueur that's traditionally enjoyed enjoyed around christmas time by the locals um, but now that they realize that you know uh, the rest of us enjoy it as well they make a lot more of it so this yeah. one's right up your alley you can visit our perfumery. Uh, basically, you can go to a, a place that makes perfume and you can create your own unique perfume or cologne. Um, it's in you know, Grand Case St. Martin's on the French side. Um, and it's a, a boutique perfumery perfumery um, that creates custom fragrances just for you. Mm -hmm. So now we're, we kind of gave you a quick overview of the excursion types. Now we're going to talk about what to buy while oh. you're in St. Martin. Jewelry. No, I'm just kidding. Guava berry liquor. Mm -hmm. The spices. Mm -hmm. Hot sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, rum. What else? I know there's more. Duty food jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> uh, soaps. Mm -hmm. um, pottery. Some kinds of pottery, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, of course, oh. your proverbial T-shirts and souvenirs. Exactly. Yes. That kind of gave you a, a quick overview of what there is to see and do on St. Martin and buy. I can't forget to buy. No, you can't forget to um, buy. So now, check out this next video. It's about the five, uh, five, 15 essential things that we think you should pack in your day pack for when you go to the island of St. Martin. Oh.